Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time I want to show you something which is for sure for need. Yeah? You can use it almost everywhere. Yeah? I will let it be based on our last program. Well, I did last time here this little as short as possible program to show you. Yeah? It will be based on that. Yeah? So I will save this now. File, save as. Uh, save as, of course, yeah. and I will use another name, I will use 6 light memory. Okay, because I want to show you how it is easy for us to go step by step through a control mechanism. Yeah? Well, we had the task in last video that we want to push the button, then the LED should be lit. If I release the button, the LED should stay lit. And if I push the button a second time, it should that be turned off. Well, this is a clear, clear sequence, right? And we want to use this sequence here also. Yeah? So, in setup, button, LED, this will stay the same. Yeah. However, I will reintroduce our button state yeah, and will read this in. Yeah. Yeah. Now our button state contains if the button is pressed or not, if we are pressing it. Yeah. And then I do have to remember the current state. And in last video I told you how we could do this. Yeah. I am preferring local static variables. This is why I'm going to define it that way. So static, yeah, and I will call it integer and I will use it as current step. Yeah. Initially the current step shall be zero. Yeah. So inside this variable I want to, to remember in which step we currently are. Yeah. In step zero, one, two, three and so on. Yeah. Now I have to have immediately to decide in which step we are. Here a command is very handy, the switch command. Okay, So there's a switch command yeah. and I want to switch according to the current step. And then are, there are these brackets. This is always a good idea. Yeah. So now we are switching according to the content of current step. And which content might there be? Well, I said initially, initially there is case zero. Yeah? With control and the T value, we can format this. Yeah? Looks pretty nice afterwards. So there's case zero. In case zero, what do we have to do? Yeah? Well, we are waiting for the we are turning off. We are for sure turning off the LED, yeah, because initially it shall be turned off. So here we'll write low. Yeah. Command it. Uh, uh, turn off LED. Okay. Case zero. Control D. I just press Control D. You see what happened. Case zero is a. Uh, uh, wait for button press. Okay, so if now button state, if somebody press the button, yeah, then we say current step shall be higher. And in C++ or also in standard C, you can simply say plus plus. This means this one variable is now one higher. Yeah? You could also write it like this. Current state is current current step is current step plus one is ex absolutely the same. Yeah? Or you can remove this and just use C plus plus. I like this yeah, because it's shorter. Yeah? Good. Yeah? And then not to forget we have to break. Now, the case number zero 
is finished. Okay. Case zero is finished. What shall happen in next case? Yeah, so this is now step number two. So case one. We will turn on. You see, I'm also using low and high. This is also working. Yeah, zero one, low and high. These are just also compile time constants. Okay. Turn on LED. So we are now turning on and wait for button release. 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 Wait for button release. So if we are no longer pressing the button, we will go to next step. Good, right? Yeah. So in next step, the LED is lit. Step number three. We will keep this turn on inside. Yeah. And we are again waiting for the button to be pressed. Because then we press it now a second time. Yeah? And now copy this once again. I will copy this because now I will copy. Yeah, yeah, I will copy this. Yeah? So this is now uh, uh, the fourth step. The fourth step. So uh, we are turning off. We will say low. And if we no longer pressing, then here we don't have to raise the current step we will assign zero huh? and now it should go in one cycle okay in case number zero we're waiting for the button press and turning the led off in case number uh, in next step we are uh, turning the led on waiting for the button to be released in next step the led is on we are waiting for the button to be pressed the second time and in next step the led is off and we're waiting for the button to be released and then we are at the beginning again Oh, this looks already pretty promising, yeah? so it should do. You see the switch case, this is a typical example. It is working pretty well. Yeah? A lot of control systems are working in steps and we have a step, we have a condition when we go to the next step and we have a command inside the step. This is very, very usual. Yeah? And there's also a default. Yeah? This means if the current step contains a number which is not inside the list of cases, yeah? then, well, in our case this should not happen, we will simply make a break. Okay? Huh? I think this should do the trick, right? Looking good, looking good. Yeah? So. Here, everything is set up. Yeah? I will make this big for us. I will upload. See if it's uploading. Still compiling, huh? Yeah. Done. Yeah. Looks that way. Yeah. So try, press the button. Lit. Release the button. Still lit. <laughs> 50% already working. Yeah, Press the button. Lit. Release the button. Still lit. Hmm. Press the button. Lit. Release the button. Still lit. Hmm. Something is wrong. Hmm. I'm not sure if you experienced something like this. Yeah? I'm pretty sure you are. Right now it's only guessing and going through the code and see whew, where could be something wrong. Okay. Well, I show you a method how you can write something, make some outputs. Okay. So Right now we could read through the code and 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 search for the error. Yeah. Uh, however, I am lazy, yeah, and I want to to write, make some outputs. Yeah? 
we have a connection to the computer. Yeah? There is a serial connection to the computer. Yeah? So why not use this? Okay. There is a thing called serial. Yeah? And with serial.begin we can start the serial interface here. Yeah? And we can write something to the serial interface. Just what we like. Yeah? We can make outputs. If somebody is receiving those outputs, the Arduino does not care. It just makes outputs. Yeah? Or maybe it even can read from it. Yeah? But this will then be later. So with serial begin, we start the serial interface here. Yeah? And now we have to select a speed. Yeah? We have to select the speed, how many bit per second we have to use. And one very usual value is 9600. 9600 signs per second are transferred. Okay? 9600, very usual thing. Yeah. You can select different values there. And on the receiver side, whoever is receiving this, there it needs to be the same number. Yeah? Because if somebody is talking twice as fast, we could not understand on the receiving side. So those numbers have to be matched. Yeah? Zero begin. And how do we make an output? Well, there is also there's a zero print. Yeah? It's called I will write in it done. Yeah? Good. If I upload this now, I would expect that somebody or somewhere is popping up in it done. Yeah? But it does not, of course. Yeah? Does not, of course. We, the receiving side is missing. Yeah? This Arduino would already have been sent it. Sent it. Here on the top right corner, you can see you can open a serial monitor. You can open, you can use any program which can display whatever is coming inside the COM board. Serial monitor is one of these. Open it. Yeah? In it done. Yeah? And here on the bottom you can see here is the baud rate. You have to select the correct baud rate. Yeah? 9600, 9000. I select now a false one. Ay, 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 ay. You see? Nothing. Yeah? Cannot be I cannot read anything because it simply could not be understood. Yeah? Because one is talking slowly, I am receiving fast, I try to receive fast, I don't understand anything. If I'm switching back to 9600, in it done. And you see, every time I press reset here, this in it done is added. And this line will get longer and longer and longer. Yeah? Therefore, we have to send a special character at the end which makes a carriage return and a line feed. So this means book, go to the next line. In the code, we can do this with simply not using print, but using print line. Um, print um, yeah. If I upload this now, switch to the serial monitor, we should see now that, well, this is now the last one in the series. And now I press the button. You see? Next line. Next line. Now we are printing a line. Not only the characters, but also at the end a carriage return and a line feed. Yeah. Good. So, we could start now to make some outputs. Yeah. We could start now to make some outputs. Uh, so, I will make here uh, serial.print uh, current uh, step. I will write step changed to I will bring this to the next line. Over I will get a different approach. I will simply write, look at it, step change. Then I want to have, I want to print the current step number.
current step and then I will print changing to and after the after the uh, next one and after the rise of the of the current step I will print this out also so I will copy this and then we should see Ah, but then I uh, here need a print line, of course. Uh, then we will make it in the next line. Yeah. If, if I copy this now and replace all of these uh, with the new code, then we should see how we are going through our, our program. Okay. Upload. Open serial monitor. Wait. In it done. Okay. Okay. Pressing the button, book, step change, what, zero to one. Good, good. Yeah. Release, step change, one to two. <laughs> yeah, and press the button, book. Two to three, it's also working. It's not turning off for whatever reason. Release, three. There is, there seems to be the issue somewhere. So at the step change, two to three, there's an issue. There is no three. There is no three. Yeah? I've used four, man, go, because we're starting with zero and I said step number four. Three. Yeah? Let's see what is happening now. Let's see what is happening now. In it done. Press. Lit. Yeah. Release. Perfect. Press. Ah, now it's turning off again. <laughs> Release. Yeah. Uh -huh, step number four. Ooh, ah, of course I just copied it. I just copied it and here at the last one I have to zero. You see, the output is helping me in analyzing my code. Upload. Let's see if this is now finally working. In it done. Press. Run. Zero to one. One to two. Two to three. 3 to 0. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Switch case. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, And also serial outputs. If you don't know what to do or where you stuck, you can make serial outputs. Yeah. Well, the serial one thing can be improved here. Yeah? So usually yeah, you should keep some space in between the steps yeah? because you know if you're coding a real application then you're following one step after the other and then suddenly something new is built in or something is changed so you can add steps in between. Yeah? This is always, you don't want to, to change all lines just you, because you add a chain, you add a step. So usually you can write step 10, yeah, step 20, step 30, and you immediately say here, next step is 30, next step here is 20, yeah, next step here is 10. Yeah. So you don't just add it, yeah? you set the next step. Yeah? This helps because if I'm now introducing something in between here, yeah? then I would make a case 5, yeah? right here just 5, and I'm already finished. All other cases I do not have to touch. The code is easier to maintain. Okay. If you have also those outputs, yeah? outputs need time. If you're finished yeah, in your analyzing, yeah? let's see if this is still working. In it done, press. Ah, so now it changed to 20, 10, 20, 30, zero. Working nice, I would say. Okay, so now 
we are finished. We don't need the outputs anymore. You can delete it, of course. However, I would advise to comment them out. Yeah, to simply make this comment sign. At the beginning, you see it's going pretty fast. Yeah, it's working pretty fast. And if, in case you need it again, you just can uncomment those lines and it's working already. Okay? Don't have to code all the stuff again. Yeah. Upload. Final check. Yeah. Serial monitor will output nothing anymore. But this is working. Good. Yeah. Good. So this was this was a serial monitor. Yeah. You see, it can help. It really can help. Next way, next time, we want to to look into timing. Yeah. So now we can turn it off and on. However, a stairway light. If we want to code a stairway light, we want to press a button. Then it shall turn on. Yeah. Stay on until a certain time, and then it shall be turned off again, automatically. This we will have a look in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.